Welcome to this uh, interview with Synax Pharma and the newly appointed CEO Jeppe Öblösen and chairman of the board Anders Kronoborg. Uh, so welcome Jeppe and Anders, nice to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Jeppe, Synax has been through tough times lately. Uh, what is your side of the story? Yeah, well, as we all know, it has been a uh, turbulent time since we got the data from the expense study back in, uh, in September. Uh, and I won't dwell too much about the handling of that, but uh, like to get back to focus on driving uh, the company forward and uh, make sure that we can start up a new phase two program uh, very quickly. That is our main focus. Uh, I think everybody around the company are quite convinced that the compound uh, works and therefore we should get forward. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Anders, you joined uh, the board as chairman. How will that impact uh, Synod Pharma? Well, first of all, it's not only me joining as new chairman. It's a completely new board. And by the way, we reduced the board from seven to four in order to act faster, but also reduce cost. And a main role of the board is to secure right management. So the first decision at the first board meeting today was to change the CEO of the company. Secondly, it will be for the board to make sure that the management implement the strategy that has been agreed between the board and the management. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Jeppe, you have been the main driver in replacing uh, the board of directors in Sino Pharma. Uh, what is it that you want to achieve? Well, basically, we didn't agree on the strategy uh, laid out by the, by the old board uh, going forward. Uh, and I was contacted by a lot of investors. Uh, as you know, we have 16,000 shareholders plus. Uh, a lot of them were quite frustrated about uh, the way forward uh, and therefore we uh, basically uh, took action as we did. Um, we have learned a lot uh, from the two studies in, in the autumn. Uh, we are very convinced uh, that the compound works, uh, therefore the learnings from that, those two studies uh, is going to be implemented in the next one uh, and we feel quite comfortable that uh, we have a good plan going forward uh, addressing that issue. And uh, Anders, uh, what is your strategy now? Well, that is building on what Jeppe just said. So in the earlier studies, we have seen that the, the drug is very efficient in a subpopulation of the patient group we had in the last study. So we'll be focusing on that, but still having it as a first line product. And I think it's key for us and the investors that we get that 2A or proof of concept study up and running as fast as possible. So I think what the new is that will be more targeting, faster and cheaper. Okay, sounds great. And Jeppe, uh, you're now back as the CEO of Synax Pharma. Uh, how does that feel? Well, I look very much forward to, uh, to uh, the challenge. Um, I uh, look forward to work with the new board. Uh, I also look forward to work with the team. I know them very well, as, as you know. Uh, and then I look forward to get back in the seat of communicating with, uh, with our many shareholders. Uh, I think we need to uh, get back and restore confidence uh, in what we do. Uh, and we also want to strengthen the communication with, uh, with the market. Okay. And a new CMO was added to, to the organization recently. What is your comment to that? Yeah, Kirsten has been a very uh, nice addition to the team. Uh, and uh, she has a great experience from many other companies. Uh, doing more or less uh, the same as, uh, as Sunakt is doing. Uh, so therefore I think uh, she is increasing the likelihood of us uh, achieving what we want uh, in the next study. Okay. And uh, Jeppe, how will you get Sunakt back on track? Well, uh, one of the first things we have done is uh, to, uh, to reduce the size of the board. Uh, we are a small company, uh, so we need to have an agile uh, board that uh, can work efficiently. Uh, so we have reduced the size from, uh, from seven to four. Uh, we think that will work. Uh, then uh, we have gone through the cost structure of the company. Uh, we need to reduce cost, uh, and we have find ways of, found ways of doing that. Uh, also extending the runway uh, by doing so. Uh, and then as I said before, we need to get back in, uh, in, in communication. Um, we have already uh, had some initial discussions with our CRO. Uh, we believe they have done a good job uh, and uh, we believe that uh, we can do the next study uh, in, in a strong collaboration uh, with them. Uh, and one of the big advantages is, is that uh, we can get uh, the study going uh, very quickly. 
so that is sort of the, the, the main target. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we have strengthened the scientific advisory board uh, during the last uh, six months, which I think is, uh, is a good thing. Uh, and then there's, of course, uh, the question about uh, financing. Hmm. Okay, thank you. And Anders, how would you describe uh, the market potential of RA? In general, that's a very, very big market. I think what is important to have in mind here that we are looking at a big unmet need for this very specific target group that we are going to run the study against. So we see a big potential also for this subpopulation. Mm -hmm. And Jeppe, what is your plans for uh, business uh, development? We will continue basically the strategy laid out. Uh, we have uh, a number of partners that have an interest in this that hasn't changed. Uh, the indication, as Arnold mentioned, is, is a big one. Uh, and there's definitely a medical need out there. So uh, let's get some good data in the next study. Uh, I'm quite confident that there will be an interest there. Mm -hmm. And Jeppe, Anders mentioned financing before. Uh, what is your plans uh, for that? Well, we, uh, we have been working with a, with a plan and still are in the process. Uh, but uh, we expect that we will be able to to uh, do a good model. Uh, we don't need a huge amount of money, uh, and therefore we expect that we'll be able to get back to the market shortly. Okay. Uh, I, Jeppe, Anders, thank you so much for this interview, and good luck going forward. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much.